got here? That was delivered by a messenger this morning. What's this about? He's here. It's here and he's arrived, playing front and center stage. All eyes are on Jan Hammer, Miami Vice's musical genius who has catapulted TV soundtracks into a new era. The song took off like a rocket. You know, we knew that it was going to be do something, but, uh, you know, the album's number one. <laughs> Nowadays, a number one soundtrack is synonymous with a music video. The making of the Miami Vice video wasn't as easy as it may look. The people at the music company, MCA, put their heads together with the masterminds of Miami Vice and decided that Joel Goodman, a Miami Vice editor, would be the director. What we wanted to do is put Jan into Miami Vice because his, the sound, Jan's sound is so associated with the, uh, the Miami Vice show, the Jan Hammer sound, that we felt he was really part of the show and should be, should be in the show. So what we're shooting is footage which incorporates him. And that's what makes this video unique. Miami Vice has a distinctive look. No earth tones, lots of high style, a Miami feel. The video had to have that too, and include Jan Hammer. Not an easy task since Jan resides in New York. Because I was so busy, I'm still working on, you know, weekly a new shows, so I have to uh, concentrate on that. It takes all my time. Giving New York that Miami look became the project of a very talented production company. The scenes were set, colors adjusted, and nighttime in New York became a warm Miami moment. All the appropriate props, lots of smiles, and action translated from director to cameraman to the film itself. Plus, a hard-working supporting cast of characters, not stopping until every light, pile of dirt, and palm leaf was in place. Then... Action! The basic plot is that uh, Crockett and Tubbs are chasing Jan. I'm actually becoming uh, one of the uh, bad guys in this particular semi-episode. We're chasing him. We have a guy who jumps out a window from a part of one of the episodes, and we cut to Jan in the alley, and he runs off. And those long, tedious hours became one brief but perfectly executed scene. You know what's funny? This comes pretty close to a perfect video, how I would imagine it. Just from the things I'm seeing on the screen, uh, on the video screen, having things, images projected around you, through you, I look like I'm really uh, becoming one with the show, which is how I feel in my mind when I'm working on it. But now to see it realized like that, it's a real trip. It's, it's wonderful. Cut. That's a wrap. The producers of the music video insisted that it be edited by a Miami Vice editor so that it would still have the same slick, sophisticated look as the show.